Hello, and thanks for joining us on this week's edition of the Appalachian Update, your weekly rundown of what's going on around campus provided by your student-run newspaper, The Appalachian. My name is Anna Muckenfuss. And my name is Natalie Broom. In news, food pantries around the high country are facing a shortage. After the damages done by Hurricane Matthew and the influx of food insecurity in Boone, many pantries are asking for any and all donations. The Sustainability Office has a food pantry located in the basement of East Hall. The North Carolina Campus Free Speech Bill, or House Bill 527, was voted into law this past summer. The University of North Carolina Board of Governors is now considering a policy to implement this law on college campuses. One of the main functions of the newly established law would be for all North Carolina-based universities to punish those who interrupt daily school operation or disrupt others' right to free speech while protesting. On November 12th, a vigil was held for Delta Sigma Theta sister and Plemons scholar Alexis Feagan. The junior criminal justice major passed away from cancer after taking a semester off to receive treatment. Over 100 students, faculty, and staff gathered on Sanford Mall to commemorate the great life she led. And now for your arts and entertainment. Due to the fluctuating weather, App Ski Mountain has yet to open for the winter sports season. The projected opening date was November 19th, but the temperature has not dropped down enough to create snow. Appalachian State saw the celebration of International Education Week from November 13th to 17th. This annual week-long event is a joint initiative between the U.S. Department of State and the U.S. Department of Education and is hosted by universities and K-12 schools across the country. The Office of International Education and Development hosted a variety of celebratory events such as a Taste of Asia, an international photo contest, and global symposium. And now for your sports stories, here's Sarah Glasgow. The football team played their final regular season road game this week, defeating the Georgia State Panthers 31-10 and bringing their record 7-4. Running back Jalen Moore gained 239 yards, less than 20 yards shy of his personal best, and receiver Ike Lewis caught his eighth touchdown of the season. With the win, the Mountaineers stay in contention to own at least a share of the Sun Belt title, which a win against the Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns this weekend would secure. The men's basketball team had a successful week taking the James Madison Dukes into overtime and breaking a six-game losing streak to Davidson. Forwards Griffin Kenny and Isaac Johnson both had nine rebounds against the Wildcats. Kenny joins guards Ron Sean Sabaz and Justin Forrest with double digits in the scoring column. Forrest also earned co Sunbelt Player of the Week honors. With an average of 26 points per game and a 55% shooting percentage over the two games. He is the first Mountaineer to win the award since they joined the conference back in 2014. The women's basketball team also picked up their first victory of the season this week against the College of Charleston. The Mountaineers broke a five-game losing streak with the win. The newest Mountaineers were some of the biggest contributors, with freshman guard Tierra Wilson scoring a career high of 23 points while sophomore transfer Nicola Matthews had a season high of 12 points and four three-pointers. That's all we have for you this semester. For more news and to read full stories, visit us online at theappalachianonline.com and keep an eye out for our papers every Thursday starting in January. We'll see you after winter break. Have a happy holiday and new year. Until next time, I'm Sarah Glasgow. I'm Anna Muckenfuss. And I'm Natalie Broom. We'll see you next year.